I'll read this because some of the people have small tablets and can't read this stuff too good. If ever the time should come when vain and aspiring men shall possess the highest seats in government, our country will stand in need of its experienced patriots to prevent its ruin. Samuel Adams. Now, we're just common, everyday people. We don't bother anybody, and we take a strong dislike to anybody who goes out of their way to bother us. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Got one more thing, people, and then I'm going on to what I came here to do, I want to inform you about the new laws they're trying to pass, and you're not, you're not going to like them. Now here, whether this is true or not, who knows. Heinrich Himmler said, Germans who wish to use firearms should join the SS or the SA. Ordinary citizens don't need guns, as having their guns doesn't serve the state. And I don't know who this guy is, John Howard. I, I don't know him. Anyway, he says, I don't think people should have guns unless they are the police or in the military or security industry. Ordinary citizens should not have weapons. Now, he sounds like the perfect Democrat. That's okay. We're going to go to something, people. Just so uh, hang in there with me for a few seconds. Now, this is from Guns and Gadgets. And uh, he has a lot of Second Amendment stuff on there that you should be. If you don't subscribe to this guy, well, then, that, you know, shame on you. Okay, this is going to be the universal background checks on ammunition. Oh great, what is this stuff? I hate ads, even on TV, on, on YouTube, I don't care, I don't like it. Okay, now he's talking. And you should be listening. I'm going to zoom in on this. This is a universal background checks on ammunition. Just coming to light. It says uh, under measures proposed in the House by Florida's Debbie Wasserman Schultz and in the Senate by Connecticut Richard Blumenthal, would be ammunition buyers would have to be first be vetted by the FBI's. National Instant Background Check System. Yay! You get so excited when you hear those wonderful words. It's none of their damn business what the hell you do. This is a free country. And I'm really sick of this shit. Anyway, this, there's this thing called HR 1705. That's the one that's in Congress. Under the measures proposed by the House by Florida's Debbie Wasserman Schultz and the Senate by Connecticut Richard Blumenthal 
would be ammunition buyers would have to be first be vetted by the FBI's National Instant Background Check System. Wow. Well, people, <laughs> now, I love it when these people in the United States say, it had never happened here, man. It had never happened here. Yeah, well, tell you what. I don't know what this all contains yet, but you can bet there's going to be one about uh, uh, universal background checks on any kind of uh, reloading supplies. Your powder, your primers, your bullets, you name it. That would be the next one on the list. No, but it never happened here. Better wake up and smell the roses because the roses don't smell as good as they used to. Something else that's coming up too, people. Uh, they're, they're provoking the American public for a reason. I, I think they want them to rebel or do something. And I look for something to be staged here before too long. We've got April 19th coming up. And that seems to be a, a day for that kind of stuff. They always want to say, oh, it's the Patriots. Oh, they're, they're wound up. They're, they're doing this stuff. No, Patriots didn't bomb Oklahoma City. The government did. Now, April 19th, 1775 or 76, was the shot heard around the world. April 19th, 1943, I think it was, you had the Warsaw Ghetto Uprising where uh, they got tired of... Uh, being put on by the Germans, and they uh, killed a couple of the Germans, got their weapons, and they held the whole German army off, waiting for somebody to come in and, and give them backup. Americans didn't come, the Russians didn't come, nobody showed up. April 19th, 1993, uh, the Waco, where they killed all those men, women, and little kids. 17 little children. The government did that. Bill Clinton, Bill Clinton has always loved to play with fire. But karma's a bitch, Bill. It'll catch you. Then you head to Oklahoma City bombing. So keep your eyes open, people. Things are coming up. This is what's going on. <laughs> 